welcome back to Tam's Place. Um, so today I have got a pretty awesome <laughs> garage sale haul. So yesterday a friend of mine was having a garage sale. Actually she's going to have the garage sale this upcoming weekend, but yesterday she contacted me and told me that I could come and pick through her stuff early. And I was really excited about that. So I did find lots of pretty cool stuff. So um, before we get into the garage sale hall, though, I did want to tell you all, last night my husband and I were sitting out back just talking, and my husband went over to water our tomato plants, and he found <laughs> something that I had never seen before. He had never seen before either. We raise a garden every year, and we have never seen these. Um, it's called a tomato hornworm, and they're about four inches long and the ones that we found we found five of them on our tomato plants the ones we found there was these little white pods on their backs and after my husband did a little bit of research found out that they are the uh, brachnid wasp and what they do is they attach themselves to the back of the hornworm and then they burrow into the body, basically killing the hornworm. And then they hatch out as wasps. And then they go into the garden and they search out other hornworms. So it said on there not to kill them, but no. I am, no, I'm not doing that. I ha I, we took all of them off and actually put them in a paper, or not a paper bag, a plastic bag. And tied it up and put it down in another plastic bag and then put them in the the garbage out in the garage <laughs> because I can't have these worms eating my tomatoes because we we work really hard to grow our tomatoes and sorry little worms you're gonna have to find another home so anyway just thought I'd let y'all know about that if you any of you all do gardening or have tomato plants or anything like that be on the lookout and we didn't notice them because they they attach themselves on the underside of the leaves so actually I think that the reason we noticed them is because they had the little the little egg pods on their backs and it really showed up because they're white and the the worm is green so yeah just just a little tip um, about a little gardening tip there for you so anyway let's go ahead and get into the yard sale hall so anyway I went to a friend of mine's house she let me look early and I got lots of good things so the first thing that I got was I got these two little green birds Aren't those cute? I forgot my tag because those are going to my boo. Uh, but I paid $2 each for those. I thought that was pretty good. Um, I have sold some similar to this before in my booth. So I thought those were cute. And then I also got this little red one. And it was the same too. It was $2. Then um, I got this. For some reason right now, bird cages are like vintage old looking bird cages are really popular right now. Um, but I saw this and I don't really think it's like a bird cage, but it kind of looks like one. You see that, but it's got the little opening right here where you can open the top. And I thought about putting something in there, but I don't think I'm going to, I think I'm just going to take it to my booth as is and just sell it like that. Or I don't know. I'm so torn because I want to keep it. I really like it. I think it's cute, but I don't know. I don't have a price on it yet, so we'll see. <laughs> then I got, um, oh, and the bird, yeah, the bird's $2. This little cage thing, I think I paid 5 for it, which it was a little pricey, but I liked it. So then I got this little um, vase. It's like blue, and I guess that's black. And then it has these little sticks with the little silver, like, balls on the top so it's pretty good size I paid two for that so that's gonna be going out to my booth then I got this right here and I did do a little bit of research on this this right here she had two of these and I bought both of them she had five dollars each on them and when I actually I looked them up while I was there um, but it's a flame safety lamp and um, it's, they're made by Kohler. Um, 
Well, it says Marlboro, Massachusetts, USA. Approval number 209 issued to the Kohler Manufacturing Company. And when I looked these up, I found some of these on eBay that are going for $100 to $150. Um, I don't know. I hadn't really looked at the solds to see if any of them had sold. But the fact that they were going for that much and I paid $5 each for those, um, yeah, that is a easy pickup. So I don't know if I list them on eBay. I'll have to go back and look at the solds and see. Um, but if not, I'll put them in my booth because I know I can probably you know, make money off of them in my booth. So I got those. Then these are really big, but they are just like, this is the smaller one. And it's just a metal container with a lid like that. I picked those up because I don't, I think I'm going to keep those. <laughs> I really like them. But the other one, and I won't show you the other one because it's, it's the same. It's just bigger. Um, so I picked those up, both of those for five bucks. So, um, yeah. Then I got a couple pieces of clothing. Um, this right here is just a little, like, over shirt to go over, like, a tank. And it's got, like, kind of the bell sleeves on it. I just thought it was really cute. Um. So, yeah, it's got the little crochet. I thought that was really cute. And then, and her, all of her clothes were a dollar each, so I thought that was good, too. I thought this was really pretty. Isn't that pretty? And it's got little pearl beads on it, like that. And it's got, like, the peasant sleeves with the crochet detail. I love this top. So, yeah, I thought that was really cute. Next, I got um, I got three purses. Now, the friend that I that I picked from, uh, she actually her and her mother and her sister uh, went to Italy a couple years ago, and she had a couple of her purses that she had bought while she was in Italy in her garage sale. So, I went ahead and picked those up. Um, I'm not really sure about. As far as like, because they're not like any like designer. There's one that's a designer brand, but the other two came from Italy. While she was over there, she bought these two purses over there. But I just thought they were really different and unique. I've never seen any like these. Um, the first one is this little white bag, and they're not real big. Or this one's not real big. It's kind of small, but it has this opening here. The inside of it is really nice, and it has the two zipper pockets on the sides. Then the strap on it is, this is what I thought was so interesting about it, because the strap on it is a zipper, and what you can do, this um, little clip on the back, you can take this off and make this like a shoulder bag, like clipping it on there, and it would be like a shoulder bag, or... I thought this was really neat, too. She told me about this, and I wouldn't have known if she hadn't told me. Um, if you unzip the zipper like that, you can make it a backpack. Isn't that cute? I love that. That, that was just really, really cute. I paid $5 for that, and it's got on here uh, the initials VA. I'm guessing that's Vienna. And it says made in Italy on, let's see if I can show you that. Yeah. So anyway, I don't know, but I just thought it was really different and neat and thought, you know, for five bucks, surely I can make money. Then this one is really cute. This is navy and it has the long strap to carry. It's like, you know, if you want to carry it as a crossbody. Then, and the, here's the zipper top. And then there's the, what the inside looks like. It's real nice. Then it also has, and these hang down, but then you can pull these up and it, it can be a carrying bag like that. It's got a zipper here, a zipper right here that goes around. This lifts up and then there's a zipper here. 
and then like that. So yeah, I thought that was really um, that was really different. And these bags look like they're made very well. Um, you know, the stitching is really good on them. The hardware is real nice. Um, I don't know that she's well. This one in particular, I don't even think she's carried it. But anyway, I thought that was cool. Save the best for last. <laughs> I got this Dooney and Burke. And yes, people, this is real. There is an issue right here. One of the little studs came off right there. And there is, like, on the bottom, there's, like, a little bit of like scuffing kind of on the bottom just a little not much I mean it's really not even hardly that noticeable just a little bit of like wear but this purse is in impeccable condition I already have it stuffed good shape so going to my booth oh I paid five dollars for that purse <laughs> just so you know I thought that was a heck of a deal um she said it had been given to her and she just didn't want it anymore didn't you know so I was like hey five bucks real Dooney and Burke I'm all about that so anyway um that is everything that I got at her garage sale um I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And um, I will have another haul video coming soon uh, because I went to uh, the thrift store and a couple Goodwills and I got some really, uh, really awesome stuff there too. Normally I don't find stuff at the Goodwill for resale. And I only found like maybe one or two things for resale. Um, the rest was for me personally clothes and stuff. Um, but I did find some really good stuff at the thrift store. So, um, hopefully get that video up pretty soon and I will talk to you guys next time. See ya.